This is skill three, withdrawing liquid from a vial. The maximum time for this skill is 15 minutes. Step one is to obtain the medication order. Step two is to obtain the needed supplies. Step three is to perform the calculations based on the scenario you're given for this competitive event. Step four is for the competitors to verbalize that all anteroom preparations have been completed. The anteroom preparations include the garbing properly, hand washing, and putting gloves on aseptically. Now we'll transition to the skill three clean room procedures. Step five is to verbalize cleaning the inside of the hood. In this competitive event, it's likely that you'll just be demonstrating this without an actual hood. So we will demonstrate using an actual laminar horizontal airflow bench so that you can see what it's like in real life, but during your competition, you'll be verbalizing this. Clean the ceiling from the back to the front with overlapping strokes. Once you come to the outside of the hood, that set of wipes is considered dirty. You grab a new set of wipes. You would then clean the bar and the hooks. After that, I'm going to clean the side walls, starting at the top and going down, covering every exposed area inside the hood with straight strokes, no S-turns, going from top to bottom, from the back of the hood to the exposed part of the hood. Then you would repeat on the other side of the hood. And lastly, you would clean the base of the hood with overlapping strokes, coming from the back by the filter to the front, and when you get to where you've set your used wipes, you pick those up with one hand and then you come out of the hood. That is complete cleaning of the hood. Once the hood has been cleaned, we move to step six, which is removing the following items from the transport vehicle. The vial, the needle, the syringe, alcohol swabs, and those are placed in the outer six inch zone of the hood. Step seven is to move the vial into the direct compounding area portion of the hood. Step eight is to remove the flip top cap from the vial and place it in the discard pile and place the vial in the direct compounding area. Step nine, pick up an alcohol swab and place it in the direct compounding area. Open and discard the swab package in the discard pile and swab the top of the vial. Then place the used swab in the discard pile. Step 11, bring the syringe into the direct compounding area and remove the outer wrapping without touching or shadowing the syringe tip. Dispose of the syringe wrapper in the discard pile. 12, open a sterile alcohol swab and place it on the work surface of the hood and discard the wrapper in the discard pile. With the syringe in your dominant hand, open the needle held by the cap. Remove the cap from the needle and place it in the discard pile. Step 15, hold the syringe in your non-dominant hand. Use the dominant hand to pull the plunger syringe to draw equal or slightly less than the required amount of air into the syringe. Step 16, use the dominant hand to grasp the syringe at the barrel. Use your non-dominant hand to remove the needle cap and place the cap on the alcohol swab on the hood's work surface. Step 17, use your fingers to rotate the barrel of the syringe so that the bevel of the needle is pointed toward the ceiling. 
Step 18. Insert the needle into the vial using a slight upward rotation of your wrist, keeping the needle in contact with the vial's rubber top throughout. Step 19 is to invert the vial using a clockwise motion and inject air into the vial. Step 20. Remove slightly more than the desired dose and move bubbles to the top by bracing the syringe against your palm and tapping the barrel of the syringe. Step 21. Push the plunger on the syringe to expel air and any extra fluid back into the vial. Step 22. Return the vial with the syringe attached to the work surface using a counterclockwise motion and gently pull the syringe and needle from the vial. Step 23. Carefully recap the needle using the scoop method. Step 24. Place the completed product on the transport vehicle. Step 25. Request the judge to verify the product. Please verify. Step 26. Dispose of waste from your discard pile and return equipment to the appropriate location. Step 27 are anteroom procedures. Return any remaining supplies to their proper locations. Step 28 is to remove your sterile gown and gloves and any remaining personal protective equipment and discard of it appropriately.